a new day, a new project, what I want to do today. I have all these uh, gears here and I have my TC Helicon GTX and I have my uh, Catron MidJ, that's a MIDI file player and uh, Wave, an MP3 player too and a little mixer and of course my microphone, you can hear the sound now directly from the microphone. What I want to do is to use a software sequencer and I want to insert control change or uh, system exclusive messages to have this uh, TC Helicon turning on and off. I'm talking about the voices, to have the voices on and off and I want to insert these messages in a MIDI file. What's nice about this Catron of mine? Through a MIDI file. So an empty MIDI file can trigger, with special system exclusive messages of course, can trigger an MP3 or a WAV file. So somehow I can command through a MIDI the playing of an MP3 or a MIDI file. The sound of the MIDI files through this machine, it's great. It's still uh, okay. I use it a lot, but uh, as long as I have these MIDI files triggering waves and MP3s, I can have a kind of, call it automatization. I can change patches on TC Helicon and I can even change guitar effects and uh, a lot of other things. But for now, in this uh, part, I uh, only use voices on, off and eventually changing patches accordingly to the song. Okay, so let's open a MIDI file and I already have this one prepared and we have to, we have to know that uh, all these changings are related to channel 1 over here. But as you may see, I have a lot of information here because this is a MIDI channel and also uh, I have uh, instruments playing and a lot of other control changings and program changings and so on. That's a kind of problem because I have to find a way to clear the path for channel MIDI 1. Okay, so let's say we have a clean guitar here and I have another one over there so I'm gonna mix these two channels okay blend all the way new and over here I'm gonna change the channel number so I'm gonna make this number 12 channel 12 and 12 over here I'm gonna put it on channel 1 so now I have a, an empty channel just for having this uh, program change and control change related to control TC Helicon. In the beginning of the track I'm gonna have a program change. Okay, insert. But I wanna have it a little bit later. It can go to measure 2, doesn't really matter as long as it's the beginning and I'm not using the voice from the beginning it's a patch change and because I'm using patch number 24 this will be a really easy task so 0 over here and number 24 over here let's see if we got any reaction from uh, TC Helicon. I'm running the MIDI file, the change of the patch. Okay, and it went to 24. You see that? We have this part here. I have the first verse. Let's say. And I want the voices on over here. Okay, so we have measure 9 and I put a control change 28 with 
127. So I want the voices on. Then I want the voices off. After this saxophones, so I'm 11, 12 point zero okay and we insert here control change with zero because I want the voices off okay let's go further let's see again And over here, I think I'll go a little. Insert. Eight one hundred and twenty seven. Okay, so that's it for the first verse. That's all I need because this is just an experiment. Like I said, I'm saving this, uh, let's say, test MIDI. And now let me run the MIDI file. We should see changings on TC Helicon. So I start play yes patch is okay now and we should see soon the first uh, hit voices on and off on perfect off yes on uh, I think it's working let's import this into Catron so now I got a MIDI file in the Ketron. All I have to do is to connect a MIDI cable from Ketron MIDI out. That's the MIDI out over here. To the Helicon in. Yes. And we have some things also to see over here. So setup. We go to MIDI and to check all these things. So it's receiving on channel one, control change on channel one, split directory above, don't care, filter known, transpose zero, split node three, system exclusive send on one, MIDI control, MIDI, okay. Now, let's say, so we have the song over there. The MIDI file is ready. And uh, now I'm recording by the mixer with, the, the, with my vocal microphone. You see here different, plat different patches. Let's say I have now number one. Okay, so now uh, we can have a test. Let's run, the, let's run the MIDI file. We have the effect here. You can hear the effect. And I'm going to start the mid. Let's do the boogie, the boogie on along. Let's do the boogie, everybody come along. Let's do the boogie, till we see the morning dawn. Well, I may say that it's working. There should be another on and off for the voices, but this is just a test. So what I was really interested it's about if we can do this in this simple way. So this is part number one. In the meantime, I'm going to try to find a better MIDI implementation chart for this little TC Helicon. Then we'll see how can I send them via system exclusive. Thank you for now and I'll be back soon with part two.